Hello, in this video we're going to be interested in finding the profit maximizing level of labor for a perfectly competitive firm and then for a monopoly. We'll start with a perfectly competitive firm. The market price is $40. Remember this firm is a price taker. The hourly production function is Q, quantity of output, equals 10 times L, units of labor, where units of labor is raised to the one-half power. We're going to get the marginal product of labor. We can take the derivative of this production function with respect to L, units of labor. The exponent here on the L term comes down in front, so one-half times 10 gives us 5. And then we need to subtract 1 from that exponent. So one-half minus 1 leaves us with L raised to the minus one-half power. The hourly market wage is $20. We want to find the profit maximizing level of employment. Profit maximization requires the following, where the market price, in this case $40, multiplied by the marginal product of labor equals the wage. So on the left-hand side, we basically got the marginal benefit of hiring an additional worker, the added output multiplied by the price at which we can sell that output, and on the Right hand side here we have the marginal cost, what we need to pay to hire one more worker, and that's simply going to be the market wage. So plugging everything into this formula, market price of 40, the marginal product of labor, and then set that equal to the wage. And now we're going to solve this equation for L. So 40 times 5, we get 200. I'm going to take this L to the minus one-half power and move that down into the denominator. Doing that, we lose the minus sign on the exponent. That's our last step. And so here, I'm just going to cross multiply, multiplying through by L to the one-half power. Now dividing through by 20. 200 divided by 20 gives us 10. And now we need to square both sides. To get rid of this L to the one half, we need to square both sides, and L equals 100. That is the profit maximizing level of employment for this perfectly competitive firm. Now let's move on to the monopoly. The monopolist faces an inverse market demand of price equals 400 minus Q. Marginal revenue then will be the inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep, so 400 minus 2Q. The hourly production function is given as follows, and we already found the marginal product of labor associated with this production function. It's right here. And the hourly market wage that this monopolist pays is $20. Profit maximization requires here the marginal revenue multiplied by the marginal product of labor equals the wage. So we're going to use the marginal revenue here. So making our substitutions for the marginal revenue and for the marginal product of labor, and now set that equal to the wage. And now it's a matter of simplifying this. I'm going to get the following here. I just moved to this L to the minus one half back down into the denominator like we did earlier for the perfectly competitive firm. Just rewriting that last step. And now cross multiplying through by L to the one half power. Simplifying the left-hand side, 400 times 5 and minus 2Q times 5. And now what I want to do, I want to replace this Q with the production function. So I'm replacing this Q with the production function, so the hourly production function here is as follows. And now simplifying, moving this minus 100L to the 1 half power over to the right-hand side, dividing through by 120. 2,000 divided by 120 gives us 16.67, and now squaring both sides, we see that L equals 277.8. That is the profit maximizing employment level for the monopoly. Okay, that's it.